So one of the things that's amazing about humans is that we have the ability to reason about hidden causal agents. These are things like microbes and gods. We form hypotheses that these types of things are able to have effects in the world, even though they might be invisible, out of sight, or not even really exist at all. And what we think that nu the Nucleidae and crows have done is think in a similar way. So these tool-making birds might not be able to reason about gods and microbes per se, but we think they might be able to reason in a simpler way about a hidden human. How did you discover this? So, we created a situation for the crows uh, where they had to try and predict whether or not a stick would be probed from a hide or not. Now, the hide was a place where a human could go and become out of sight of the crows. And what the crows saw was the human go into this hide, a stick then emerge from it, and then the human leave the hide in the room. Now, we ourselves, when we see this kind of thing, would imagine that the human that was hidden and now out of sight was actually the one creating the movement of the stick, because sticks are inanimate objects, they don't move on their own. So we saw the crows react in the same way as humans. The crows seemed very relaxed. It appeared that they were predicting that the stick wouldn't move from the hide again. In contrast, when they saw the stick move and they'd never seen a human enter or exit the hide beforehand, the crows became very nervous, just like we might do. The crows seemed to be expecting the stick to move again. They had seen the stick moving, but hadn't seen the potential causal agent leave the hide this time, so they were cautious. They didn't want to get too close to the hide in case the stick emerged from it again. So we saw this large difference in behaviour between the two conditions. When the crows saw a human leave the hide, they appeared comfortable extracting food from the hole and they did not expect the hide very much. When the crows saw a stick move and no human leave the hide, their behaviour changed. They became cautious the closer the hide they got and they inspected the hide a lot. They appeared to be predicting that the stick might move again because they had not seen a potential causal agent leave the hide. So these results really seem to be showing the crows react in a very similar way to humans in a situation which requires them to reason about a hidden causal agent. So what's the, what's the next step? We want to give this uh, experiment to other species to see if they react in the same way as the crows. We're really interested in trying to understand what kind of selective pressures led to the, uh, the evolution of this ability. Was it a tool use? Was it predation? Was it sociality? These are three different hypotheses that could explain how humans themselves came to reason about hidden causal agents. And maybe also we can try and find an inkling of why it is that humans have taken this ability so much further and started reasoning about invisible causal agents, those gods and microbes, things like that.